Hey everybody, Kelly here, your real estate ninja, and I'm doing a quick video today on how to use Calendly and Zoom to create actual meetings with your prospective clients that will be a video chat. Now guys, you can use Calendly as a scheduling service to provide links to your clients for them to book a phone call with you, but you can also integrate other softwares. In this instance, we're gonna talk about setting up a Zoom video meeting with your client. Now, if you're not a real estate agent, this video is still applicable to you. If you're an affiliate marketer, if you're a professional, if you own your own business, if you have a business where you are marketing to specific clients and you want to have that one-on-one, -on -one, uh, this is a great strategy, guys. Now, let's talk about real quick why we want to use Zoom video in our scheduled meetings. While that's not necessarily something every client is going to want to do, I find more than likely in today's economy, in 2021, it's becoming more accepted. Now, you can use Calendly just to schedule phone calls, and that's fine. I've done it for years. But I'm finding in my business that there is more of a personalization when you have a one-on-one -on -one video chat. And if you prepare them and chip away at the psychological issues people have about being on video and just prepare them that this is a better way for us to communicate, uh, we'll be able to see one another and kind of get the uh, flow of whether or not we want to work with that individual. It's more of a uh, see me for who I am kind of. A, if you if you prompt and, and prepare your client for that, they're going to love this. And I also find that I convert my clients at a higher percentage using video uh, in my meetings than just a regular phone call. So what's going to happen is as you're marketing and as you're out there talking, um, if you don't already... Calendly is a fantastic scheduling software that will link with whatever calendar, in most cases, whatever calendar you're currently using. In my case, I use uh, Google uh, through my Gmail to schedule uh, these types of meetings. So again, there's a free version that won't let you do what we're going to talk about today. It's, it's great. I've used it for years. When you get the paid version, it's only a couple dollars a month. You'll be able to access the integrations for your Zoom inside of your Calendly. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring you over to my scheduling Calendly link and walk you through how to set up a Zoom meeting with a client. Now, before I do that, understand there are several ways you can set up a meeting. You can do a one-off. If you're gonna be meeting with a high dollar client next Thursday and you wanna create a scheduling link in Calendly that's personalized just to them, you can do it. Today, I'm just gonna show you how to set up a, an actual scheduling profile for an ongoing link. So if you want to send this link to anybody in the future, that's what I'm going to show you today. But please understand in Calendly, you can set it up to do a one-off for a specific individual, make it more personalized. I hope that makes sense. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into, um, jump into my uh, scheduling software. So bear with me guys while I pull it up on the screen and let's go ahead. Here we go. Let's go full screen and jump into this. So here's my Calendly, and as you'll notice, I've got several uh, scheduling links already set up, and these are these are ongoing links I can send out to uh, prospective clients depending on you know what services they're looking for. But for here, let's go ahead and create a new event type. Oh, before we do that, let me show you the integrations. So if you haven't already linked Zoom to Calendly, you're going to go up to integrations, and when it pulls it up, it's going to give you the different softwares you can integrate within Calendly. Here's Zoom. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click it. Please understand I have already linked Zoom with my Calendly, so it's going to stop at the next page. But if you haven't, when you click this, it's going to walk you through how to take your Zoom API key and put it into Calendly. If you'll notice, I'm already connected, so we're not going to go any further. But right here, it would take you to the directions on and It's very simple, guys. Very simple, you can link this within two minutes and you would be good to go. So again, if you've never done it, click integrations, follow the steps, make sure you have Zoom opened up on another browser, follow the steps and you will have it linked to your Calendly within minutes. So now we're gonna create a new event type. And for this one, when we get it, because I'm gonna delete this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this a one, now I can do one-on-one, -on -one. I'll let the invitee, which is what I usually use, pick a time, but if you have a large group, you can, you can let multiple invitees meet with you at one time. So here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to create the link. And for here, we're going to call it test. 
Kelly. Now, right here, guys, is where the rubber meets the road. On location, you can actually pick where you want this meeting to be held. So because I've already linked Zoom, I'm going to come down here to Zoom. And there we go. It's already set now with Zoom. Now, on the descriptions, what I could do is I could say, um, when you log on to this meeting, please use my Zoom link. And then what I'll do is I'll drop it down. And right here is where I will put the Zoom link. Forgive me, guys. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to do. And then I would do my ID right there. Uh, whatever. And that's what I would put in the descriptions, right? So there's where you can drop your Zoom ID and your Zoom URL right there. And then when you're done, you just simply hit next. And I'm not going to walk you through the entire setup, but here's where you can set up your date ranges. Here's where you can set up the time frames you're going to allow them to schedule and so forth and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and click next and it's now saved. OK, so I'm going to go back and let's take a look at this link just so you can see how this is going to work. So there's the test Kelly. So I'm going to copy the link. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to put the link on. And I'm going to schedule this for the 19th. So once it opens up, here's the link. I'm going to hit the 19th and I'm going to say 10 a.m. I'm going to confirm it. This is what your client's going to be doing. Put in your information. And then here we're just going to put test. And we're going to schedule it. This is what your client is now getting, right? And then when they're done, they're going to get this right here. This is what your client is going to get. There's the Zoom link, right? And then if you go into your calendar right here on the 19th, it already links up to your calendar or their calendar right there. And you can go in and edit the meeting. They can do whatever you want to do. But guys, there it is right there. There is how you take a Calendly scheduling link, set it up with Zoom so that when you send this invitation link for your client to schedule a time that works for them, it's already got the information embedded. Now, typically, guys, what I didn't do on the description, I'm probably going to say when it's time for the meeting, please be on your computer, not your cell phone. I will be sharing my screen and it works best for this application. Please call or text me at just to let me know if there's any issues with these instructions. I look forward to talking with you. Here is my Zoom ID and scheduling link for the meeting. I drop it in that description and then they get that on their email. So guys, that right there is how you do it. That's how you link Calendly and Zoom to create a scheduling link for your client. And with Calendly, it allows you to do multiple types of meetings, but you can still integrate Zoom within it. Now, if you have existing Zoom, I'm sorry, Calendly schedules already, if you're using it, once you sync Zoom up with it, if you have it, you can go back into your existing meetings that you've created and go ahead and add a source, which is Zoom. And now you've turned that meeting that's existing into a future schedule for a Zoom video chat. I hope this has been helpful. As always, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to be notified when I put out these marketing meetings and look below for the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. Was this something of value to you? It's a little bit different. We're not talking about lead generation, but we are talking about how to create a perfect scheduling platform for your business. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. I want you guys to absolutely crush it this week with your real estate goals. And remember, Come back on the next video. The Ninja will be returning soon with some killer marketing videos. All right, have a great week.